Over the last 300 years or so, Europe has contributed so much to science and technology in the world. But the thing is, Europe didn't suddenly just wake up one day and decide to start scientific discoveries. Actually, there were two main reasons for Europe's recent advancement in science and technology. Firstly, Europe separated the church from worldly affairs and adopted capitalism as a way of life. The people had the right to make their own laws, there was free thinking and there were rights for individuals. And secondly, Europe had access to around 1000 years of scientific heritage and knowledge from the Islamic Empire. So the question here is, why didn't Europe advance in scientific knowledge at the time that the Muslims were advancing? For this, we'll take a brief trip to the Dark Ages in Europe. Now Constantine chose Christianity as the religion of the Roman Empire in 325 CE, with the understanding that the leaders of the church and the leaders of the state can live together peacefully. But despite this, the Roman Empire fell, and many Christian states in Europe were then dominated by the church. So it was actually the priests who ruled and dominated in the Dark Ages, from around the 5th to the 15th century. This caused many problems. Why? Because the Bible, which the church used as its authority, does not give detailed guidance on economy, politics, judiciary, criminal punishments, the structure and functioning of government, and so on. So this caused a huge gap in Europe when it came to human social affairs. When the priests gave judgments, even the kings had to accept. But these judgments were problematic, as we mentioned, the Bible did not provide the solutions. And with time, scientific discoveries were made that the church did not agree with. To keep its authority, the church took harsh steps against any new ideas. So no new ideas. Many scientists were called heretics, infidels and satans. Also, we know during this period of the Dark Ages of Europe, tens of thousands of women were accused of being witches and were burnt or drowned alive. So naturally, there was a big backlash and response to the suppression by the church. People wanted to separate the church from the state. They did not want the church governing their affairs. By the 18th century CE, this separation was completed and this left the church to carry out the religious rituals and the state to carry out the worldly affairs. This also started the basis of capitalism, marking the beginning of the Enlightenment period in Europe that sparked the Industrial Revolution in Europe and the advancement of technology. But, and here's the thing, in the period of the Dark Ages of Europe, the Islamic society was flourishing. In fact, from 622 CE to 1924 CE, which is a period of Islamic rule, there were continual advances in science and technology amongst the Muslims, as we shall see in the coming episodes. What was happening differently in the Islamic world? What was the secret to this amazing advancement? Was there also a separation of religion from the state? Is this the only way development could be made anywhere in the world? <laughs>